Okay, so here's what I figured out using my iPhone where I can demonstrate drawing or making small sculptures or other hands-on uh, techniques where I need to show uh, students remotely what I'm doing. If I go to share screen, I can come over here and choose iPhone or iPad via cable. And it takes a moment to come up. And you can see it's in the vertical uh, format there. So I'm just going to go over and pick my phone up. I have it kind of uh, on a tripod. So I can get the uh, horizontal view here. And so I can make it bigger. And right now, I'm not zoomed in at all. And when I do, I taught in class a small drawing like this, and I had my phone down low and my hand, I couldn't get the proper angle to teach. So I have the phone up higher now, and then I just zoom in. And I also discovered that with the autofocus, that if I had my pen and was demonstrating something, that the focus kept shifting. So what I do now is once I have it set, I just do press to lock the focus. And so then if I move my hand like this, it's not going to throw off the focus. It looked very jiggly uh, for students. The other thing is, and I'll, I'll show you a photo, but I need to have the light coming in. It's coming in at an angle. Because if it's coming straight down, uh, there will be more shadows of my hand, and there will also be shadows of my phone and the tripod that's holding the phone. Um, so anyway, I found this to be a very effective way of continuing to teach um, hands-on exercises. So here's an overall view of my setup. I've got a tripod. I have an adapter to hold my iPhone. So if you don't have all those things, you might need to jury-rig something. Um, but it's, it's a really great way to uh, demonstrate uh, working with uh, small objects and teaching art and maybe teach labs or whatever in this method. So there you have it.